bridging the gap between the community and the police department. One neighborhood association is throwing a party for the men and women who patrol their streets every day. Our tenders reporter Rena Nakano joins us from Fairmont Park where the party has just begun. Rena. Hey, Lindsay and Steve, this is a big thank you party going on right now. Residents here say they credit the hard work of these police officers for the decrease in crime and increase in their sense of safety. That was this house right here. Daniel Palmer and Russ Connolly reminisce the good old days when the original owners from the 1950s took good care of the new Fairmount Park community. Being in the area that's in the center of everything is very desirable. But as the years went on and the homes changed hands, so did the vibe of the neighborhood. The streets were dirty, houses were becoming more dilapidated. Drugs, break-ins, and speeding problems along Parrott Street. We have an affectionately street part of the downhill side of the street that's called the Parrott Street Raceway. And a person was hit and run just a couple of hundred yards from my house. The moment they shared their concerns with patrol officers, they say something changed. Instead of simply ticketing offenders, they say the officers took the time to engage with the community. And I think that that's had an effect on a lot of neighbors because now they suddenly see to slow down, watch for traffic, watch what's going on. You see people putting a coat of paint on the house. You see people picking up their yards. People are happier, feel more secure. So as a token of their appreciation and hard work, the Fairmount Park Community Association is throwing a party. Thank you, they say, for making Fairmount Park the desirable, sweet community it once was. It's more of a family environment than it was five, six years ago, in all honesty. It's a lot cleaner. People are a lot more friendlier. There's more participation, more interaction. And I think that's a conjunction with cooperation of our local governments and our San Diego Police Department. Now, neighbors tell me they want to keep the streak going and also continue to close that gap between the community and the police department. We're live out here in Fairmount Park. I'm Rena Nakano, 10 News. Rena, thank you.